these little ones are doing so well well that one just made a little scream there and immediately the mother is coming to check up she does not leave them she's around all the time she's making sure that they're safe just look at her can you believe it <laughs> that little one's eyes are, are open so that's the one who had the leg. Let's just check up on that leg, that back leg that was swollen. I'm just going to pick him up a little bit. Just look at that. Perfect. Just like the other one. <laughs> so, just goes to show, they do come right. I didn't take this little one to the vet because I don't think it would have been the right decision. When they're this small... I think they can very easily get hurt and uh, I, I haven't even had them out of this little uh, enclosure thing that where they're growing up I've picked that little one up three or four times to just check up on that leg but that's it I don't move them around I don't handle them this little one has got a little bit of a sneeze there. <laughs> Mother is there immediately. <laughs> She's so protective over them. I do pick them up and put them right down on her in the right position. Because look at that now. Just like that. Because she is going to lie on top of them. Which I don't move them. So that's it. Let me move away from you. Tigers, oh, let's see where they are. Yep, they're not over here. Let's go see where they are. I see Enzo over there. We had a big rainstorm last night. Enzo heard me. And everything washed clean, but yeah, look at my window, it's dirty as you can get. <laughs> That's not a problem, we'll sort it out later. Let's go see where the other cats are. And they're all gone. Diego should be over here. Yeah? Nope, he's out. Daisy. I'm not gonna go there now. She's just gonna make a noise. And when she starts barking into the mic, I guess you guys have to put up with it. So Let's go see where the other little things are. And I see one over there. Let's just check inside here. Vegetarian cat over here. <laughs> and just look at this little face. <laughs> They've got the weirdest voice. These little kittens are definitely totally different to any other kittens I've ever had. I think that's a nice thing about them, is that they are never the same. And this little one's got his place where he takes a nap over here. <laughs> and mother cat is over there. Let's see, where's the other one? Computer cat should be here somewhere. I'm out in a second. Let's see, where's Diego? 
Diego. Enzo is right over there. Oh, there he is. He's a very loyal tiger, I can actually say. Whenever you call him, he just comes around. <laughs> Hello, Buddha. <laughs> Always listening, and he is friendly as can be. It's just when there's food around, then he changes a little bit. <laughs> Always talkative. Ends okay. mornings he's always there to greet me if I get up take on to his friends then the first one to come and greet me is Diego and he's totally different if I don't have a camera in my hands he's so friendly like, like now he's a bit friendlier than usual because he didn't see the camera for such a long time but if I stick around with the camera he gets quite upset I, I guess it would be the same as anyone filming you or yourself all the time you will probably get annoyed by it so they're quite sensitive and they don't just allow anything they have to approve everything that happens or they get upset by it and if it wasn't for the fence well then you would probably not be able to do whatever you're going to do so yeah tigers are not animals that you keep without a fence you have to have this uh, a lot of people tell me, why do you have them behind a fence? And can that little fence hold them in? Yes, this is actually quite a strong fence. Uh, this wire, it's a hundred by fifty. It's a welded mesh, it's galvanized, so it's not going to just rust. And only last a few years, it will be quite strong. The right wire to use is actually the one that runs with a, with a triangle where it interlocks because that's able to move. If they should run towards it and hit it full on, it moves and it swivels on that point where it folds over. And that is actually the right one to use. But when I chose this wire, I was actually looking at the tiger's eyes and thinking if they would want to look outside they'll be able to look through this wire without seeing the wire so I was going to make this as comfortable for them as possible you know and then you start thinking what is the smaller things that you have to do so yeah, that's why I chose this type of fence. I just put in some poles to support it, to make sure it's a bit stronger, and I did put that on the top. Now what I would like to add to this is actually a pipe on the top, running the side, but supported from the two sides, and it must be able to turn. So should the tiger climb up here and he comes to the top and he puts his paw on top of that pole it will just turn I don't want to put electric fence because the problem with electric fences when it goes off 
it doesn't mean anything. And it goes off quite often. That is something that just happens. I do have electric fence up there on that side, but that is not, if you're going to need that electric fence to keep in tigers, rather don't keep in tigers, because it's not going to work. <laughs> so, yeah, when you start looking at an enclosure and you have to know how to, I think the best thing is just go as high as possible and a mechanical device has always been better than an electrical device because of the reliability thing. So yeah, in the next few videos I'll be talking about that again. Just how do you design an enclosure and how to keep them in and how to keep them happy once they're in. Because you don't want them to want to climb out. If they're going to want to climb out, they're going to climb out. And uh, I've seen tigers that do climb. They just put their foot inside something like this and they just keep on going. It doesn't matter how high it is, they will go. But there's certain things that will prevent them from doing that. So, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And have a good day.